welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the another video over here i have two different devices as you can see this device is running ios 26 beta 8 and over here i am running ios 26 public beta 5 so i tested out both of the devices i tested about what is like new and how is the battery went after 24 hours and the geekman score especially there are surprises actually so talking about the battery life and everything i'm going to talk about those things in this video but one thing that i missed in yesterday video is that there is a new filter in iMessage that is by draft so for example if i write anything over here and i don't set it didn't set it and go back you will see a new filter by drafts as you can see and when you go over here there will be that iMessage that you haven't sent and what you you know send or you know just it is gone as you can see so this is another change in the iMessage that i missed in yesterday video so thank you guys for mentioning out and you know i mentioned it over here now let's move to the battery life how the last 24 hours went i will be talking about the battery life and also the performance so so far it seems very smooth device but before talking about the uh, performance i want to talk about the battery life so get let me get into the battery section over here let the battery stats load over here as you can see i use 53 percent of my device today and for the 53 percent i got six hours and eight minutes screen on time which is much better than the previous one it is better than the public beta 4 which is a good sign like it's just 24 hours and you can see the improvement it is insanely better really good and i believe like in couple of days it will even even get better at the same time this is public beta 5 and at the same time i also want to see the um developer beta 8 actually so let me get into the settings over here battery section let the battery stats load so over here as you can see i also use this device for around 54 percent and for this device i got 4 hours and 12 minutes screen on time now this is also a really good screen on time the reason is this this is an old iphone this is iphone 11 this is iphone 16 again iphone 16 obviously giving more two hours extra over here but still this is a really good um, screen on time and it also seems it is better than the uh, previous beta beta 7 which is a really good sign so i'm very happy with the battery life and i truly believe that it will even even get better in upcoming days right after installing the update i noticed amazing performance smoothness amazing smoothness and very speed being very honest it become really really smooth and if i get into the geekbench over here let me get to the Geekman CPU benchmark, CPU history. Um, this is the test. This is the old test. This is the latest test I did. 3444 on a single core and 8697 on a multi-core. Higher than the average one. Higher than the average one. And guess what? This is one of the best score. Like I didn't get 8697 before. I do get 8601. Um, over here 8717 once for a while that was like early betas but this seems really really proved also this is one of the really really good single code score as you can see this is lower this is lower this is low all these are lower than this one which is a really good sign it means it is getting better and with the beta 8 with the iphone 11 i also got really good scores better than the average one 17 80 on a single core 4145 on a multi-core and if i share this one higher than the average one it is higher than the average one too and again multi-core over here is really great this is one of the best multi-core being very honest like over here i used to get in early betas decent score i'm getting those again and also the single core score is also really really good it seems it is improved a lot um, in the GPU benchmark, I got 14091, I guess, which is also really, really good score. And over here on the public beta 5, I got 27972, which is again way higher than the average one, which is a really good sign. So there is a huge difference in the performance and they are really, really improved. The battery life is really improved. The performance is really improved. And it seems we are heading towards a really, really stable update. And being very honest, we are expecting RC update very, very soon. RC update next week. I do believe these are going to be the last betas. But I will be talking about the RC update and more stuff in my upcoming videos. But this is all from this video. I just wanted to share how the battery life and how the performance is going on after using the device for almost 24 hours. 
If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. And I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Until that, take care. Peace out.